NASA's Lucy spacecraft had been gliding silently through the darkness, its sensors locked on Jupiter's Trojan asteroids, those ancient, drifting relics of the early solar system, when the feed suddenly cut off. No warning, no countdown, just silence. A moment before, something strange had appeared on Lucy's camera feed, something that didn't look natural at all. If you're fascinated by mysteries like this, the kind of mysteries that could rewrite what we know about the universe, make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss what's coming. Because if what Lucy glimpsed is real, the truth may be stranger, older, and more dangerous than we ever imagined. Picture this. You're 300 million miles from Earth, surrounded by blackness so vast it feels alive. Your instruments are trained on space rocks that have been drifting unchanged for 4.5 billion years, silent witnesses to the birth of the solar system. The cameras, cutting edge, high resolution, and guided by AI, are supposed to be capturing nothing but jagged edges and cratered surfaces. But then, just for a heartbeat, they detect something different, something impossible. Sharp edges where there should be curves, smooth geometric patterns shimmering against the void. And, before you can even zoom in, darkness. For decades, scientists have whispered about these Trojan asteroids. To most, they're just debris, cosmic leftovers caught in Jupiter's gravitational grip. But some suspect they're more than rocks. They're parked at Lagrange points, gravitational sweet spots where objects can stay for millions, even billions of years without expending energy. If you wanted to hide something, say a probe, a monitoring station, or a relic from a forgotten civilization, this would be the perfect place. Like a cosmic rest stop where no one looks too closely. Lucy wasn't supposed to reach its main Trojan targets until 2027, so what was it seeing out there in the darkness? What appeared for a split second before the feed cut? Was it a glitch, a cosmic ray, or something far more extraordinary? The Trojan asteroids themselves are already unusual. Locked into Jupiter's orbit at two gravitationally stable zones, they're like parking lots in space, filled with objects that haven't drifted away in billions of years. These swarms are so stable that some scientists theorize they could hold more than just natural debris. Imagine a probe, placed there before life even began on Earth, waiting silently. Imagine something still active, still observing, and consider the possibilities. The first explanation? An ancient probe. If an advanced civilization wanted to monitor the solar system discreetly, they would hide their equipment in the Trojan swarms. It's perfect camouflage, maximum stability with minimum energy required. The second possibility? A fragment of mega-engineering. Think of a massive solar sail, or a shard of a long-forgotten construction project, drifting for eons, but reflecting sunlight like polished metal under Lucy's high-resolution cameras. The third, a captured interstellar object, something like Oumuamua, that cigar-shaped visitor that tumbled through our solar system in 2017. What if an object like that had been trapped by Jupiter's gravitational pull millions of years ago? Something unnatural, something alien. If true, this wouldn't just be another asteroid flyby. It would mean our solar system has been holding on to an engineered object for billions of years, hidden in plain sight. Think of the Trojan swarms as vaults, billions of years of cosmic traffic, and almost nothing ever leaves. If you wanted to store something, this is where you'd put it. The gravitational forces act like a safety deposit box, keeping everything locked in place for eternity. And Lucy isn't just any spacecraft. It carries some of the most advanced detection equipment NASA has ever launched. The crown jewel is Le Lorry, the long-range reconnaissance imager, capable of spotting details smaller than a football field from hundreds of thousands of miles away. But Lucy doesn't just take pictures. It uses 3.i, sophisticated onboard artificial intelligence, to analyze thousands of images automatically, flagging anything unusual. Its job is to catch the impossible before humans even know what they're looking at. What if Lucy's 3i flagged something it couldn't categorize? Sharp angles where none should exist, reflective surfaces in a region where everything else is dark and rough, patterns of mathematical precision, the kind that scream artificial rather than natural. Lucy's instruments can even detect temperature anomalies, unusual mineral compositions, and regular patterns that might indicate structure rather than random rock formation. These aren't just cameras. They're designed to spot the impossible. And here's where it gets even stranger. Some researchers now believe AI aboard spacecraft will be the first to recognize something non-natural long before humans do. 
These systems process data faster than any ground team ever could. The chilling thought. Lucy's three eye might have already seen something extraordinary, something sitting in a data buffer right now, waiting to be decoded. This isn't the first time a space mission's feed has gone dark at a suspicious moment. Between 2014 and 2016, the International Space Station's live feed cut out multiple times, just as unexplained bright objects appeared. NASA called them technical glitches. Apollo 15 recorded a mysterious light above an astronaut during a 1971 moonwalk, which was later dismissed as lens flare. The Voyager missions delayed releasing unusual data for weeks at a time, citing verification procedures. The pattern is always the same, unexpected visual anomalies followed by feed loss or delayed explanations. But Lucy is different. Previous incidents involved known objects, predictable orbital mechanics. Lucy is exploring untouched territory, a cosmic graveyard where anything could be hiding, and the timing of its feed cut couldn't be more suspicious. Right in the middle of a Trojan swarm, the region scientists already call a cosmic time capsule. The Trojan asteroids are already baffling enough without mysterious objects appearing in their midst. Scientists divide them into two distinct families, Red Trojans and Grey Trojans. They shouldn't exist in such separate groups if they formed in the same region. Red Trojans are rich in organic compounds and complex carbon chains, while Grey Trojans are metallic and rocky. Some even reflect light like polished metal, instead of absorbing it like normal asteroids. Lucy's scans of these surfaces have already revealed reflective patches that resemble engineered materials more than natural rock formations. Consider the Euripides family, a cluster of Trojans thought to have formed when a larger asteroid shattered, but their compositions don't match. It's like breaking a clay pot and finding fragments of glass, steel and plastic inside. Imagine one asteroid flashing like a mirror in the darkness. Most asteroids are like dirty snowballs, dark, porous, irregular. If Lucy spotted something with flat edges or a consistent shine, even for a second, it would stand out like a skyscraper in the desert. And that's exactly what some Trojans seem to do. Flash with mirror-like intensity when sunlight hits at the right angle. When Lucy's feed cut, just as a flash of unusual geometry appeared, it poured fuel on the fire. Were these just unusual rocks or something else entirely? For decades, SETI scientists have been developing a theory called lurker probes. The E idea is simple but unsettling. Any advanced civilization would place monitoring stations at gravitationally stable points throughout a solar system. They're the perfect surveillance blinds, hidden, stable, and isolated from regular space traffic. Earth has five Lagrange points with the moon. Scientists have even proposed searching those regions for artificial objects. But Jupiter's Trojan points are even better. Massive, stable, and camouflaged by thousands of asteroids drifting in formation. Could an ancient civilization have placed monitoring stations there? The physics makes sense. The Trojans have been stable for over four billion years. Plenty of time for multiple civilizations to rise and fall. If anyone wanted to study the inner solar system, including Earth's development, this is exactly where they'd hide their equipment. The implications are terrifying. If such objects exist, they've been watching everything. From the formation of our oceans to the rise of human civilization, silent observers could have been recording it all. Lucy is the first spacecraft in history to even approach these regions. If something is hidden there, we're about to find out. We're completely unprepared for this possibility. Our understanding of the solar system assumes it's been naturally evolving without interference. But what if that's wrong? If Lucy confirms unusual structures in the Trojan swarms, it would shatter everything we thought we knew. The solar system would no longer be just a collection of planets and asteroids. It would become a monitored environment, with intelligence operating for billions of years. Humanity would instantly go from observer to observed. Even worse, it would raise urgent questions about planetary defense. If these objects are still active, what are they reporting? Are they defensive systems, early warning networks, or something else entirely? This wouldn't be just another discovery. It would be the moment we realize our solar system may have always been watched. And yet there's a strange hope in this. If these probes exist and haven't interfered with our development, maybe they're just recording, not controlling. The discovery would instantly accelerate our space programs. Nations would scramble to reach the Trojans, to make contact, 
to understand the technology. It would be the space race of the 21st century.